So this is going to be a tutorial on how to submit your speedrun to speedrun.com and get the run verified. So to start off, I'm already I'm just going to assume that you have recorded your speedrun already and you have the video file. So if you have any questions about that, I will be making a video in the future on how to actually pick a speed game and record it. But as for now, I'm assuming that you already have your run uh, ready to go. So now that you have your run recorded, let's say you already have it trimmed up, ready to be uploaded to a video, video hosting site, you gotta upload it somewhere. So the best option for this is gonna be YouTube. So for YouTube, go to YouTube Studio, create a Google account, whatever you need to do, go to create, upload video, and just go through this process. Uh, you don't even need, need to give it a video name, just click straight through, so that is unlisted, you're good to go. Other video hosting platforms work too, so the second most popular option is Twitch. Twitch is pretty good, um, PeerTube is pretty good. PeerTube, your videos will pretty much stay up forever, even if you can't get your account spanned on PeerTube as opposed to Twitch or YouTube, so th that's always a good option. Uh, anywhere where your videos will stay up forever works. So some communities are a little bit more strict on this and require YouTube or Twitch. There's no reason for this, so if you're really getting some hassle from the moderators about what platforms you're uploading to, ask them why, and you can also bring in a content moderator or other users to help you out if that, that's the case, because some moderators just do this out of pure laziness. But any platform that has permanent uploads, such as Google Drive, Nico Nico, Billy Billy, anything that works, any region-specific platforms should work. Okay, now that you have your video uploaded somewhere, you're gonna need an account. So I'm assuming you probably have an account made, but if you don't, you just uh, go to speedrun.com. There's a big sign up button here. You fill in this information. Uh, username, just be careful with special characters. So anything that interferes with the URL, you cannot use. So I believe the pound sign doesn't work. I believe the percent sign doesn't work. I would just stick to underscores, or I, I believe dashes work too. I'm not sure if periods work. Uh, I don't think question marks would work, but uh, four to 20 characters long. Uh, so yeah, so it's letters, numbers, and underscores. So just keep at that. That's gonna be the most likely reason why you're not able to sign up. Uh, you'll get a verification email after this, and once you verify your email, you're good to go. So, now that you have your account and your run is uploaded, let's go to the game that you're uploading your run to. So for this example, I'm gonna be going to Halo 3 ODST. So this leaderboard is gonna look a little bit different. This is what it'd normally look like for you as of now. But I am in the beta program, so it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna to go to the category that I ran in. So I ran a main mission. I ran Data Hive on the Acrophobia difficulty. So this is the run I'm gonna be submitting to. So I'll click Submit Run. But before you do that, make sure to double check the rules. So before you do your run, you should do this. But before you submit, you should double check. So this is gonna give you, wait, I need to hurry and fix this. This is gonna give you the exact rules for the category and how they're gonna retime your run. So this is saying individual levels are gonna be in main missions, okay. That, that's how the category is set up. But, so these are rules for the category. You must have the in-game timer on. So I know I did that for the run. Final time, this is how it's timed, is gonna be shown in the post-game carnage report. So at the end of the run, there's gonna be a time that shows up. That's how they're gonna retime, which is really simple. And then here's some more rules about the category. So you must use the acrophobia skull, which I used, and you can use any other skulls, and it can be done on any difficulty. So as long as you fill in this criteria, technically your run can't be rejected. Now there are other reasons for your run to be rejected, like the video link doesn't work, or there is something, some profanity that they don't want on the board, or some something that breaks site rules. Uh, that can be rejected still, but if they're rejecting something that's not in the rules here or in the game rules, 
look at these two for general game rules but uh, if there's something that you didn't break in these and they're saying that you broke a rule that's not in the rules page they either need to add it there or they can't reject your run so if they continue to reject your run based on rules that aren't present in the rules you can report these moderators that's just a uh, fun fact to know so you go to submit run okay so this is probably where it gets a little confusing so the category is going to be what you're submitting to. I just realized you can't see the drop down on here. But when I click on this, there's a bunch of different categories, uh, all of which are right here. It's all these. So mine was main missions. Next field is going to be my name. This will always auto populate if you're signed in. And then here, there's other fields for player two, player three, player four. Don't touch them. If this is a solo run, which for me it was, I'm not gonna fill in these uh, boxes. Most games won't have these boxes, but co-op games such as Minecraft, which is a really popular one, will. Uh, you just don't need to worry about filling these in. Uh, player one, that will always populate for yourself. If you're submitting a co-op run, you would submit what player you are in this list. So the time. I already know what my time is, it's going to be 419, but if you are unsure how to retime your run, I will have a video on that soon for different platforms, but a board should always have its retiming rules in the rule section of the category. So if they say it's RTA from this frame to this frame, you can retime your run through a YouTube retimer or Twitch retimer, or retime it through video software video editing software and there's a bunch of free software like Caden Live or Ava Mux, Ava D Mux, I believe is what it's called, Avita Mux. I can link that in the description. Both are free, both are really easy to use and a lot of people use those because they're a little bit more accurate than the YouTube and Twitch retimers but sometimes they'll have rules such as you got to retime your run through a demo or some other method, you can always ask the moderator on how to retime a run, or they'll do it for you. Okay, next is going to be the sub variables. So whenever you go to submit a run, the sub variables will always be set to default. So even if I go to here and click on Data Hive and Acrophobia, if I press submit, it will automatically revert to the default values, which are these two. So make sure before you submit a run, you always change these values here. So I'm going to change that to Data Hive and Acrophobia. Now the platform I ran on is PC. That's pretty straightforward. Don't check the emulator box unless if you ran on an emulator. That should be pretty straightforward. The date the run took place. I know this took place on the 9th. The video link. Paste your link from your video hosting site. Uh, make sure it's public. The link is public. So if I was to go to another tab, paste this link, it would open up if you're not signed in. Splits.io, don't even worry about this. But if you want to upload your live split splits, you can go to splits.io, create an account, upload your splits, and there will be a four-digit code that you can paste in here. And then your description, you're going to want to use that for any additional information that the moderator should know. So if you're using any external tools, you should put that here. If there's any, if you need to clarify what version you used of a, of a run or a game, you put that here. Uh, anything that will help your run be verified quicker, such as a live stream. So if you're submitting a trimmed clip here, but you want to show the whole live stream here, this is really useful if you're submitting a world record run or like a top three run or any additional information like in Portal, you're going to want to submit a Google Drive folder of your demos or Dropbox, you put that here, anything like that. And you can also give a small description of your run here, like I liked the run, I didn't like the run, I'm gonna improve it soon. So here I'm gonna put what skulls I used to help with verification. So I use Acrophobia, Cowbell, and Boom Skulls. After that, all you have to do is press Submit and you're good to go. So before I clear this, I just want to show you this message right here. 
So run approval may take one to three weeks. It shouldn't take this long, but if after a week your run is not verified, feel free to message a moderator. When you click on their profile, let's click on this one. It should have social media links here. If there's a Discord, you should always message, message them through Discord. Twitter is the second best option. So this moder moderator right here has a perfect example of what you should use. Um, yeah, so just message them through there. If they don't respond to you after another week, it's about two weeks since your run has been verified. Uh, you can put in a support hub request here by going to game and series request an active moderator and fill out this information. I'll go over this in a separate video as well. Um, but if you fill out this information, there's a chance that you can take over moderation of the board. This is really only going to happen if there's one to two moderators here and they haven't been active for over a month. So in order for this to happen and be successful, generally the moderators need to be inactive for over three weeks to a month, like they haven't logged in and no runs could have been verified in that time. So that's pretty much everything and now I just sit and wait until my run is verified. In order to check the status of your run, you can click up here. Uh, most of you won't see this if you're not very uh, moderating a game. So you go to view all and you can see all the runs that are pending. So I, you can see that I've had some runs pending for quite a few months now. They should not take that long for you. I'm just kind of lazy. Um, but yeah, you'll see your run here. If you need to make any adjustments to your run, so let's say this was actually a 418 and not a 419, you can go here. Oops. Click on the uh, part of the run right here. So click on this. You can go to these little three lines. You can go to edit run. And you can edit all the information here. So let's say I got a new PB during this time and I got a 416. So I could change this to 416. And I could update the link here, change the description, press submit. Now let's say I accidentally submit the run twice. So there's a duplicate submission. Submission, You can go here and click on delete run. Click on OK. And uh, you can also leave comments on the run. If you, uh, if you filled in, if you took up too much space in the description and can't add anything else, you can always leave a comment and that's an easy way to fill in the description, put more information in there, or you can paste like a, a paste bin or something with more information if you need to. That's pretty much everything you should need to know about submitting a run. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment or message me through discord. Uh, my profile is Viper, as you can see right here. And I have my links right here. So you can just message me through here or speedrun.com. Thank you for watching.